Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and that is the new 2024 Ford F-150. This is the Lariat trim. I'm at the Chicago Auto Show and in this video, I'll take you on a quick tour. Stay tuned. Yes, gearheads, I am at the Chicago Auto Show. This is my third time seeing the new 2024 Ford F-150 in person. You can see we've got a couple of trims here. This Lariat in red right in front of me and this white trimmer back in the background. I've already shown you some stuff on that one, but I wanna take a look at this Lariat. I really do think this will be one of the best selling trims of this pickup truck. And it just gives us a little bit a different look as to what Ford is doing. They've got very unique styling across all of their trims. And that starts right up here, right up front. One of the biggest telltale signs that this is a 2024 uh, versus a, a 2023 is the new Ford logo here in the grill. Gone is the chrome. In is this new high contrast look that really stands out. It screams Ford. And no, that is not a blue oval. On this one, it is a black oval. You can see the trimmer gets a slightly different grill design over there in white. And all trims get a very unique look, very unique face, but all get these new updated LED lights, LED running lights. Uh, and a unique lighting signature is unique to each vehicle. So much like the outgoing model that had the C-channel lights, this has a modified version of that. You've got this running light that goes across up here, and then this waterfall light that dips down and around the fog lights down in the lower bumper, giving this a unique stance and a really emphasizing the overall width of this vehicle because it is a big American pickup truck. Unfortunately, I cannot pop the hood of this one, but I do know from the window sticker that this has got the 5 liter Coyote V8 underneath the hood. So yes, you can still get a V8 pickup truck uh, in America in 2024. I know brands like Toyota have ditched the V8 in favor of their iForce Max twin turbo V6. And Ford has largely pushed into their EcoBoost uh, twin turbo V6, but you can still uh, get V8 offerings from manufacturers, including this version right here. I will go ahead and say uh, we don't have full MSRP on this one, but we will flash on screen uh, here just in a little bit when we go around to the driver's side, all the different trim starting prices of the entire lineup of Ford F-150. As we come around to the side, we can take a look at these black wheels wrapped in Hankook Dynapro AT2 tires. These are 275-60R20s. 20-inch wheels have just kind of become the de facto standard. Uh, like I said, these are black painted wheels uh, wrapped in those tires. Very nice. It is very much an on-road style tire. You can see this one isn't really built for off-road, even though this model is a 4x4. You can see we've got fixed in place running boards, not power deployable, though those are an option on certain trims. And the overall profile of the pickup truck really hasn't changed from 2023. This really is more of a mid-cycle refresh than it is a full sale uh, top to bottom new vehicle. It, it has a lot of the same technologies built in from its predecessors, uh, and this is just building on what has already been working for them. Again, I told you we'd come around to all the different trims. You can see the XL starts at 36,570. We are looking at a Lariat. Let's see, we've got STX, XLT, trimmer, Lariat, 64,995 starting price, all the way up to that Raptor starting at 77,980. So there really is a Ford L450 for just about any consumer. As we come around to the side, I'm gonna go ahead and poke my head in to the driver's door. Again, this is not the most luxurious, but it does have a lot of luxurious touches in it, including your three-person memory driver's seat and a very unique use of materials in here. I really like this denim style uh, door panel here with the dip so you can get a better view of your mirror. Multi-level storage all the way in the doors. Very uh, familiar interior here on the 2024 F-150. Not a lot has changed when it comes to the interior. You still get uh, two-way lumbar, multi-position power seats in this one, leather seats, they are heated, they are ventilated, and they're pretty nice. We get an A-pillar mounted handle, which helps because big pickup trucks are big. 
as of late. All 2024s get digital gauge clusters, so that is a new update uh, for 2024. Our model here does have a head-up display. We get the very large, horizontally designed uh, sync infotainment touchscreen system here. I really like how Ford puts dedicated hard buttons up above the screen so you have quick access to stuff like your camera. I know uh, competitors from RAM, uh, they bury that stuff into digital buttons at the top of the screen, but I like how Ford gives you physical buttons up here. You may see that red light flashing at me. That's because this model is equipped with Blue Cruise hands-free driver technology. I'm going to go ahead and close the door so that you can see the other one that is uh, staring at me and blinking at me. These infrared sensors are monitoring my eyes to make sure I'm paying attention to the road ahead of me. So we've got one there on the door and one way over here just keeping an eye on my eyes to make sure I'm paying attention. I like this setup a little bit better than other vehicles that have it all right here uh, behind the steering wheel because I tend to drive like this and cover those sensors uh, and then they kind of get on to me when it comes to hands-free driving and it's like oh we can't see you we don't know if you're paying attention. Uh, this being a hand-free system probably not going to be as much of an issue uh, if I'm truly using Blue Cruise. Otherwise very standard fair stuff in here for F1 50s you get all your driver information uh, controls here on the steering wheel for that screen there get all your driver safety tech on the, the screen as well and i'm trying to look for this uh, is a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel it was just around a little bit further but yes power tilt and telescoping which is built into the three position uh, functions over there we do get the electronic gear selector uh, here that does fold down so that we can open up our entire workstation here which is a nice touch you can also tilt and fold and get into a massive center console lots of storage in here we've got this roller shade covering our chi wireless charger and usb ports get a little storage here on this side a little storage over here on this side we get dual level glove or dual level glove boxes which is very nice tons and tons and tons of storage in here get a panoramic glass roof that i still have plenty of headroom up above me really 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 nice interior in here full-size pickup trucks are huge guys and they make great family vehicles they're everywhere on the roads in texas these are are our family vehicles in Texas. Coming to the back, you can see just how much space we have behind what is myself, my normal sitting position at 510. We'll climb in there in just a second. But you can see here more of that kind of denim-like material on the doors. A cup holder built into the door, still multi-level level storage underneath. Uh, the door, the armrest here, you can flip and fold uh, these seats up. It is a little bit of a two-handed process uh, because you had to pull that strap in order to do it, but when you lock this in place it is locked in place i do like how general motors uh you can do this all one-handed there are no latches levers or anything to pull uh but this is a nice solution as well uh because it is locked and not going anywhere 60 40 split i like that because we typically just have one child seat this has uh, plenty of room uh to put tucker's child seat over there and then we have access to this flat load floor general motors has a little bit of a transmission tunnel but ford does not we have a fully flat load floor and as you can see here we've got this built-in uh extender right here that really works best if you've got these seat folded up for moving this up and down but you can see lots of underfloor storage so if you don't want a bunch of stuff rolling around you can pop this divider up and if you want to put it down you can just put it down i'm not going to mess with it right now i don't want to break it one-handed trying to mess with it on camera but see now i've got a nice enclosed underfloor storage which is very nice but if i need a giant open flat space i can fold the seats up and work at it that way climbing in here we do have a big pillar mounted handle tons of leg room back here behind myself at 510 just tons and tons of it map pockets map pockets cup holders on the back here uh power heated outboard seats more power more power all kinds of power back here you are not in a penalty box in the back seat of a ford f-150 which you shouldn't be in a vehicle that costs nearly seventy thousand dollars this is on the pricey side but i love that it still comes with a five liter coyote v8 in this one and a lot of luxurious touches here on the inside lots of updated styling too as well we have only really talked about the updated face of this but there are some unique touches as we come around back to the bed of this one 
uh, which I will actually have to show you the most unique function is over on that trimmer. But here you can see updated tailgate, updated tail lights, uh, mimicking the headlight look up front. You get that kind of waterfall look with that uh, running light that goes across the top there. Very nice uh, tailgate here. Uh, but when it comes to the tailgate wars, oh, are we locked? No, there we go. Uh, when it comes to the tailgate wars, Ford has got some things up their sleeves. You can see this was a damped power deploying tailgate, but we've got C-channel clamps in here. So if you want to do some woodworking back here, uh, tailgates have just gotten so big and thick lately that they actually had to put pockets in here so you can clamp stuff onto it. I like that uh, bit of ingenuity and thinking right there. This one does not have the ruler in it. I say that with air quotes because you really can't do a lot of measurement uh, with that. This this being the V8, it is not the uh, power boost, so you don't have the full power generator uh, situation that you do in the EcoBoost. But you can see we do get some power back here in the bed as well. Spray and bed liner, all the typical things you would expect in the back of a modern pickup truck. Tailgate that's light enough that you can lift it up one handed, no big deal. And again, you can see that blue oval that's actually black with that high contrast look. Very, very nice. But the real trick feature where Ford thinks, you know what, we've won the tailgate wars, they're over. Well, that can be shown off here on the back of this trimmer. You can see we've got a little something interesting going on here. Not only do we have our traditional opening tailgate that works just like the tailgate I just showed you that does have the C channel clamp spots in it that does have the ruler for measuring fish as really all I can think about there is that will help you help you to tell more uh, realistic fish stories but here we've got a door within the tailgate uh, that let's see yeah opens up there are three different detents in this uh, where it can lock into place so one right here one right here and one way out here and the thought is that if you've got a trailer hitch hooked up that this first detent uh, opens just enough that you're able to use this kind of like a trunk in a vehicle come in here get whatever you need especially with uh, this bed divider right here you really just uh, have quick access to stuff whether you have a trailer or you don't or you can open the sucker up all the way and have quick access without having to reach over the tailgate itself i really like uh, that functionality built in into it. Uh, this is very similar to what Ram offers. They have that 60-40 split bench kind of barn door setup. Ford thinks that this is the best option out of the bunch, and I'll let you all sound off down in the comments what you think of this tailgate within a tailgate. Has Ford really won the tailgate wars, or do you really just want something a little simpler and more traditional, like what is offered here on this Lariat? And it really is not wanting to respond to me uh, here on camera, of course, but there. Uh, traditional tailgate or do you like those tailgates within a tailgates options uh, that are coming to the tailgate wars from all manufacturers everybody's got the next unique idea for what used to be a thin piece of metal just keeping stuff from flying out of the back of your truck that is it from the ford f-150 booth here at uh, the 2024 chicago auto show if you want to see more stuff from the auto show hit that subscribe button down below ring the bell so you're notified every time a new video drops find us on all social media platforms facebook instagram twitter x TikTok, YouTube, threads, everything is at GT Garage Talk, or you can go to gtgaragetalk.com. But as for me, with the new Ford F-150 from the Chicago Auto Show, until next time, gearheads, bye.